So some time ago, when I first started to help Lucas with his car, um, he was having some issues, so I took him to see a wizard I know, who knows a lot about BMWs, and the wizard gave him this carburetor setup. Um, some DeLordo DHLA40s um, with the uh, intake manifold. They look a little rough, but I think that they'll uh, be rebuildable. Um, I found them in Lucas's stuff uh, when I was going through the boxes of car parts, and I thought, time to resurrect them. Um, especially since the price is right, and you may as well give it a shot. Look pretty cool in the car. Um, I've got a set of Weber's coming as well, and I'll rebuild those and try them both out and see which ones go. So, uh, what I've done is I've borrowed a ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, I'm going to see what happens when I just drop uh, one of these in uh, and uh, see if they clean up real nice. And if that happens uh, well enough with the ultrasound cleaner, I will take them all apart, get the rebuild kits, and uh, see if we can make some nice spiffy cars. This is the ultrasound cleaner that I borrowed. It's uh, heated and it uh, goes up to 80 degrees apparently. It's got a timer for the ultrasonic action. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I've heard good things on the internet. I've gone ahead and used Simple Green HD Pro. Um, three, uh, one to three mixture. It seems like it's the easiest way to get a uh, cleaning solution that I can dispose of easily and not have to order a crazy car cleaner. So for my first trial, I'm just going to go ahead and drop uh, one of the carburetors in. Um, and maybe if I can fit the uh, intake manifold as well and see what it looks like when it comes out. So right now, uh, they're pretty scuzzy. I'm hoping before I take it apart that it'll be a little bit cleaner and then I uh, can uh, really dig into it. So I'll start with one of these and then I can compare it with the other one after as a before after. See how clean they are. As you can see, uh, the ultrasonic cleaner did not a bad job for just 20 minutes of cleaning. So I think I'm going to put this one in as well, uh, get it all cleaned off, and then once this one's all cleaned off for a preliminary cleaning, I'll start taking them all apart. Uh, tonight I'm going to order the rebuild kit um, and dig into it. So I think the, the hardest part is going to be keeping track of all the parts as I, as I go through it. Okay, so today I'm going to take the carbs apart. Um, I printed off the exploded diagram of these DeLordo DLH 840s. Um, so I should be able to take pieces off and put them uh, over here on my printout of all parts. Um, I'm just going to start pulling them apart and uh, See what happens there. So, this is actually my second attempt of making a video, taking apart a DeLordo DHLA40 carburetor. Um, my first attempt was a bit of a mess because uh, there's a lot of parts and I wasn't really sure what I was doing. So, I'm going to do this one 
hopefully captured all in 20 minutes in a better order. I've cheated a little bit and broken loose some of the fasteners, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so I've got them both taken apart, pretty much every piece off of them. So each, each carburetor had over 100 parts. Um, I, I have been learning what each part is, um, and I'll do a little bit better job of that. It seems like I should be able to rebuild these, um, which is cool, and I'll be able to put them on the car eventually, but I think that's going to be for a different video segment. Um, Rebuilding a set of carbs is something I've always wanted to do thoroughly, so I'm getting that chance. Uh, I took a chance on these because they were pretty rough, but it looks like they'll come up okay. Let's take parts for them. It's kind of fun. It's amazing how many pieces are in them. Um, but yeah, there we go.